All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am backing up on a wrong way, incredibly tight, compact street up in the city of Tarzana. Uh, we got a rollover, and this is what we got to deal with in Los Angeles County. The good thing for me is there's going to be no traffic, even though I'm on a wrong way, because of uh, the rollovers blocking the little intersection. Look how much I'm barely squeezing by right here. I got to give myself food for these cars. But uh, I'm going to pretty much be backseat on this job. I got Ricardo in the smaller truck, Unit 90, was able to go the other way there already. And uh, he's going to be taking point on this. I'll be training him. Setting up Hulk and doing everything. Oh, I think I might actually have the better position here. I see the front of it already, so. <laughs> I'm gonna scare these kids right now. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I got the Hulk on the side of my truck, and they probably love that. You know what? Let me use my PA system. Reading is fun. Stay in school. Listen to your teachers. <laughs> I got a thumbs up from the teacher. All right, let me park here so I can get a good look at this. It's a little baby. It's a Hino Thermo King loaded. It came in as a trash truck originally. Looks like we should have switched, huh? huh? It would have been better if you took this pot and I got this pot. You want to switch? No, 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 no. It, you know if it's loaded? Huh? You know if it's loaded? Not an opening yet. Are you with the truck? No. That's the food truck on the school, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, man. There's actually space right here. I'm going to just back up right here. Empty. Oh my god, empty. Oh, look at that tree house. That's pretty cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is hug the curb right here and back up Hulk. All the way back to right here. I'm going to get it off the side, crib it, and then flip it towards that, uh, that side. So the wheels touch down. And then I have Ricardo told this puppy out of here. Man, how do you flip right here? Not even room to speed. So there's a wheel, there's a way. All right, so we got a game plan. Ricardo's gonna finish taking off the drive shaft. He's gonna go the way I did, loop back around around the block, back up to the front of it, and by then I'll be in position with Hulk. These kids are gonna get a show today. It seems like a really, really straightforward, easy job. I talked to the cop right now and uh, I'll show you guys in a bit, but he was done with his last delivery. Wasn't speeding. I guess somehow, uh, need to grease that. Somehow his foot, his foot slipped on the gas pedal. Uh, he hopped the curb, hit the fire hydrant and, and somehow did this. You couldn't replicate it if you tried. I got a few more feet to back up as well so I can clear that outrigger, but Ricardo's fast, man. He's already here. So let me back up more. Perfect. Now I got more room for my outrigger. Got really tight space right here. Really tight with those trees up there. So we'll boom up slowly. And then I'll just walk the cables out manually.
You know what? Because it's empty, there's so many things I can do. All right, so the pre-pick on this will be pretty easy. I'm gonna use a foundry hook right there in the middle. Lift up and then crib this. That's good. Now we kill my free spool. All right, now this part, just cable in. You know what? I like this, but we'll move the foundry hook a little bit more in. Okay, right on out. Right here. All I'm gonna do uh -huh. is lift up. So we can put what uh, my straps or something underneath. My God, look how light this thing is. Oh shoot, I can almost slip it from right here. That's good. Let me get my stuff. I'm thinking, uh, one right there. I have more. No, I'm thinking for where to put my straps. We're gonna put that way then, right? You know what, it's empty. So I'm gonna go behind the rear axle and to the bumper and I'm gonna lift from right there. And since you'll be helping in the front, You'll spike the front. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna, you're gonna kind of back up here, drop a line to like a snatch block down there somewhere, and you're gonna pull from here. Okay, I've been a horrible camera guy. Been helping Ricardo. And then just twist the shackle the, the other way. Like that, yeah. So the end of the strap is in the throat of the shackle, just like that. Now, do you think it's gonna clear the end of the box? If you measure it? Well, we set up his truck, he's gonna spike the front and catch. These things, it's incredibly light, yes, but I've seen it, seen it, where if you just bring it up from the front, I mean the rear, this will come apart. The tractor from the, the box. Okay. Besides, this is a LAPD car, what we call OPG. Truth be told, between you and I, 
it's our lowest rates out of all my contracts and agencies well it's not like we're getting any real money for this this is just a cool little training experience for ricardo yeah it looks good to me well, let me go in with the lines Let me start going up, hold on. All right, let me adjust that. Oh, we gotta. Let me help you. This has to stay close to keep the box rigid. All right, I'll hold it here. Start stand back again. Go. Right, oh. One more time. All right, hold it there. I'm gonna get on the other side, okay? Oh shoot. Yeah, never mind. All right, go. Let go. Oh, hold on. Let me take my. Let me take my gloves. If I let it go, hold on. Let me take my gloves. I'll hold it. Good. Now let me close it. That's all right. Hold on. Let me take this stupid remote off. All right. First things first. All right. When will we use a trap? All right. Do you have one? Yeah. Yeah. No, let's let it go. Woo! Wow. So you guys remember this thing sprung open on Ricardo in the beginning. Uh, we'll just use the strap, make it safer. Okay, remember, spike and catch. Went over the basics with Ricardo right now on how to spike and catch. It's gonna be an incredibly easy lift for us. Now we just put some tension on my catch. Okay, good. Now a lot more tension on my lift. Oh, the wood slipped out. There you go, yeah. All right, continue. Let out, it should be all catch from here. Nice and smooth. See, even the easy jobs, you just follow procedure. Ain't nothing to it. And just about touchdown. Because it's so small and empty, there's virtually no damage to the box. We have touchdown. I mean, yeah, it's dirty. See up top where my, my straps are. We're at, they cause no damage. They didn't even need angle iron for this one. The cab looks perfectly intact.
which is great. A little messy, but let's start taking off my rigging. Okay, what we can do is uh, pull it straight, right? Yeah, so just pull it out so it's straight, that way you can switch. There's going to be people that are going to be using the sidewalk now, because now that we got all the everything unhooked. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay guys, just like that, this quick and easy rollover is done. Ricardo noticed the rear flat tire, but we're just gonna get this thing out of here to the main street and he's gonna rear tow it. But this is what he jumped. Well, he came down this one way street. I, I don't know how he floored it, somehow hit the gas and got stuck. Took out this fire hydrant. Completely took it out. Pop the curb and flip. We got him back upright with no damage to anything. These ones don't pay too much, which is cool because I just love doing them and it's a great training experience for Ricardo. All right, Ricardo's done hooking up. Perfect timing. Uh, parents are starting to come in. This is a one-way street, like I said to pick up their kids, so we're out of here. Ricardo's gonna follow me, I'm gonna lead the way so he can drop on the main street and uh, tow up from the rear. But I know I'm gonna get these comments, I get them all the time on these style jobs when they're smaller trucks. Yes, you could have done this with the smaller truck. That's not the way contracts work though. You see that sign right there? That's heavy duty OPG. We cover all of Los Angeles for that contract. So when LAPD determines, uh, there's a rollover over X amount of weight. I think it's like 12,000 GVRW, something like that. We get the call. Now, no matter what call I get, I'm gonna show up in Hulk. Doesn't mean you charge for it. It's just, this is a truck I drive. And this one came in as a trash truck. But I do find it funny how the people that, that wanna hate, they'll, they'll scroll past hundreds of videos I have where we're pulling over heavy tractor trailers and cement mixers over bridges, all kinds of crazy stuff, not a word. They'll see something that they could do and be like, hi, oh, you guys suck. You guys are overkill. I could do that. But yeah, like I said, ignore all the other, the stuff we do. And realistically, this was like, what, a 20 minute job? How much faster could you have done this? In 18 minutes, 15 minutes? Like, get a grip. Life's too short to be grumpy. With that said, peace out, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy this quick and easy one.